Most people who get sick with COVID-19 won't need hospital treatment. But for the around 6% of people who do, especially those who are older or who have health complications, a ventilator can save their life. A ventilator is a machine that helps patients breathe. When patients are put on a ventilator, they're intubated. That means a tube is placed through the mouth or sometimes straight through the windpipe into the neck. You've probably seen this reenacted in a film or television show. The other end of the tube is attached to the ventilator, which blows air and oxygen into the patient's lungs. A ventilator can provide pressure that helps hold open the lungs so their tiny air sacs inside don't collapse. And it makes it easier to clear the windpipe if the patient is too weak to cough. Ventilators are complicated pieces of machinery that are required to support people's breathing, and they're not something that can be created or crafted quickly. And right now, um, there is a limited supply, um, and, you know, everywhere, and certainly for the surge in the kinds of sick patients that we're seeing. Severe cases of COVID-19 include respiratory failure, where a patient's lungs have been damaged to the point that their body is not getting enough oxygen. At that point, the patient needs to be put on a ventilator as soon as possible. The most severe cases mean they could need a ventilator for weeks. And if we don't have any ventilators, you know, we're, we're gonna have a problem managing those patients. According to recent analysis, U.S. hospitals have 62,000 full feature ventilators with nearly 100,000 ventilators with lesser capabilities. But more than 900,000 patients may need ventilators during the coronavirus pandemic, depending on how bad it gets. If there aren't enough ventilators to go around, then healthcare workers will be forced to make extremely difficult decisions about who receives care.